Galway's international rally had its financial problems, but thanks to West of Ireland plant in O'Malley construction, this European and Irish Tarmac Championship event mustered over 100 crews. Salt Hill's Leisureland Complex is the marshalling point for the three days of the rally, and there the defending champion, Jimmy McRae of Scotland, the top seed, is apprehensive of a few Irishmen. Say Jerry Buckley and Cartney, Bert, Bertie Fisher, Billy Coleman. <laughs> I'm not too sure it's justified. Uh, you've got Billy Coleman, Bertie Fisher, a few more very top players. Well, Desi McCartney, Ronnie McCartney. It might be too fair to find a finger at me. However, I, I will be trying hard, that's for sure. Two days ago, Michael, it was totally unexpected. I, I thought I wasn't doing the event at all, and this suddenly turned up, and here I am. Uh, have you driven the car yet? Do you know how the car is handling? I drove it about 20 miles on the way from Dublin this morning. Um, I have obviously haven't driven the car for a couple of years now. It's got the wheel on the proper side this time. Well, in fact, I have an advantage in that I drove a left-hand drive Porsche for 18 months. So the left-hand drive might be such a big problem, although it is a definite a disadvantage, however slight. Well, uh, two years ago I won this rally, and on the second stage the head gasket went, and I still won it because everybody else had even more serious problems. So you would never know some more sport. Mayor Brady O'Flaherty sets Jimmy McRae in the Opal on his way just seconds after noon on Friday. Cork's Gerald Buckley is next to head off with the Vauxhall Ireland Chevette HSR. Ronnie McCartney in another Chevette HSR is the top-seeded driver from Northern Ireland. And yet, another Vauxhall with 2.3 litre power is driven by Dublin's Brendan Fagan at number four. And so, at 30 second intervals, the expected crews make their way along the 475 mile route. The 24 special stages, making up 270 miles, are the heart of the event. The first test is at Kilogoyle near Othorard, a tight and slippery four and a half miler, and McRae is first to appear. early stonewall line stages are decisive for some. Ronnie McCartney is fastest on the first, but on the third he leaves the road and ends his drive. Noel Smith, Sean Campbell and Austin McHale are others to retire. But the road's a mixture of slippery, wet and bone dry. The order up front after 20 miles of stages is Buckley, Hugh O'Brien Escort, McRae and a delighted Billy Coleman in the Stratus. The rally is running like clockwork. <laughs>
Nine stages are now complete, the first day's complement, and Hugh O'Brien's fine run ends with broken engine mounts. Gerald Buckley's Vauxhall leads Jimmy McRae's Opal by just four seconds. As they start this Saturday morning, the order behind this GM duo is Desi McCartney with Vauxhall number five, Cahal Curley in the Shawson Escort, and Jim McDonald in Vauxhall 14. Brendan Fagan, John Bryce, Porsche, John Coyne, Talbot Lotus, and Billy Coleman make up the top nine, while Richie Healy's Escort leads Group One. Get organized. A lot of work to do. How right he is, there is much work ahead. Nine more stages, some 160 flat out miles of devilish roadway, including the corkscrew in County Clare. The Galway rally leader, Gerald Buckley, is driving superbly and today he's pulling out seconds on the field with each car walking mile. The diminishing cavalcade moves on under the watchful eye of Royal Irish Aula Club officials, but the biggest gathering of spectators is on the corkscrew. Buckley in the Chevette is masterful. He takes one and a half minutes off McRae in just six stages. Curly, MacDonald and Fagan are among the dropouts. Driving styles, abilities and approach differ from driver to driver, so also does the level of competence and concentration. But one must wonder how the seemingly devil-may-care spectators escape. Ger <laughs> Buckley is fastest on all nine stages today and Jimmy McRae is still second. Billy Coleman and Bertie Fisher are locked in a duel for third, while McCartney, Price and Coyne are next on the leaderboard. But what about the Saturday stages? Yeah, yeah they were very long and I think it started holding out. Uh, certainly what I made up all the time, the corkscrew, uh, and the one prior to it was very long, there were 21 and 23 miles. And the third one uh, was about 17. They were repeated three, three times. And that's what I made up all the time. On the long stages yesterday, we were running out of brakes in this car and it was just... 
Yeah, Jerry was driving too well, you know. Do you find this car much bigger than the Vauxhall? No, it's not terrible. I think it's more because it's left-hand drive. It's a bit awkward. Right, well, my, Michael, uh, we had a very good run yesterday. And uh, we're up in the third. We were 11th yesterday morning, so we're very happy. If we can hold our position now, we'll be OK. I think that this, this technology has been a mistake in the timing, so we'll throw it back. But how, are you satisfied with the run you're having? Well, as, I think in the circumstances, it's my first drive in any make of car for eight or nine months, and um, I, I'm happy enough, I think. Can we see, expect to see more of you in rallying in the future, Billy? Yeah, I hope, uh, hope to have a full season this year. What about the, this Renault story? Are you doing anything about the Renault Turbo? Are you dismissing that altogether? Well, we're discussing the project at the moment, and hopefully it will come off. Buckley and the Vauxhall are first on the steaming wet roads. shaft ended Coleman's run further along this stage. Fisher is now third while Desi McCartney is losing his grip on fourth to John Coyne in the Talbot Sunbeam Lotus. Richie Healy still leads the group one class for Ford but he's been pressed by Ken McKinstry in an escort. Rally leader Buckley, co-driven by his brother-in-law, Con Murphy, sets off on the last three stages. Barring accidents, he must be the winner. The hard-trying Scott Jimmy McRae has closed the gap with the Opal, but not by enough. Bertie Fisher is third in the Escort RS 1800. And on the very last stage, John Coyne snatched fourth place for Talbot by just five seconds over McCartney in the Vauxhall. And so ended the 10th Corp International Rally. Jimmy McRae had braking problems, but it is still a clinical, decisive victory for Daryl Buckley of Bantier in the Vauxhall Rally, Ireland Chevette HSR. Well, I won that one because it, it was a pretty decisive in the end, end wasn't it? It was, yeah, I'm back, Michael. Uh, yesterday, yeah. I knew that things were going well that I could do it, but there was the boy. All the rain was on the stages, but uh, no, no, thankfully it all worked out. Well, let uh, Jimmy McRae catch you a little bit. That was intentional, I think. Well, well I came to win the rally. I didn't come to win all the stages, but uh, to win a rally, you've got to win so many stages. I, I won those yesterday.